Hey everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back. And today's video is going to be a collective Halloween decor haul from three stores. I have stuff from Home Goods, Walmart, and Dollar Tree. So this will probably be my last Halloween decor haul for this year. Um, I may end up coming back with one more because I am still waiting on the Spirit Halloween stores in my area to open. Um, so today is September 1st when I'm filming this and we do have one, we have two Spirit Halloween stores um, in our area and um, one of them is already open. The second location has not opened yet. As far as I know, on the website, it says they will be open in September. So today's September 1st, so I really hope that they're opened. Um, I'm going to be going probably sometime this week or next to see if they are. And if they are and I do get something, then I will make sure to haul it and let you guys see it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys what I found. So the first store that I'm starting with is Home Goods. Okay, so my daughter was in from up north. She lives in northern part of Missouri, and she came down to where we are, which is in the southwestern part of Missouri. So um, anyway, she came in to visit, and while she was here, we went Halloween decor hunting because she loves Halloween as much as I do. So um, we went to Home Goods and found a bunch of really cute, and some of them are kind of creepy, Halloween decor. So anyway, the first thing that I found is this Ray Dunn mug. And I thought it was super cute only because, I know this is crazy, but I love the topper. The topper is like this haunted house, which I think is so cute. So I did go ahead and grab this. Now it says on the front, if you've got it. And then on the back side, it says haunt it. Now, when I picked this up, I did not see the if you got it part. All I saw was haunt it. So that's the reason why I got it. But that's okay. I still like it. I still think it's really cute. I'm still going to use it. So anyway, I was excited to find this. I think I forgot to tell you guys how much this mug was. So it was $14.99. Okay, so the next item that I found is this skull with the raven that sits on top. Now this is like, um, I think it's like a resin type material. Um, it's pretty sturdy, so I just love this. I love anything that has ravens or crows on it. So um, I went ahead and got this. This was uh, $14.99. So I did go ahead and pick this up. And this skull looks really realistic. So anyway, I just love it. Okay, so the next thing that I found from Home Goods is this, and I think this is so stinking cute or creepy, however you want to look at it, but um, I bought myself one and my daughter one. They did only have two, so I went ahead and grabbed one for myself and then one for my daughter, but this is so cool. It's like a cloche, and I'm sorry about the glare, but um, it's got all these little, like this book of curses, um, a bottle of potion, a bottle of blood, a rat is sitting on a, another book, has a skull on top. And then on the back side, it also has a little bottle of potion there. I'm so sorry about the lighting, guys. Um, but anyway, I thought this was really creepy. I really liked it. It is very sturdy. And another thing is, is that it lights up. So... And I did have to put batteries in it. It did not have batteries that came with it. But the skeleton or the skull's eyes light up, which I think is really cool. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and got one of these for myself and one for my daughter. Now, this was uh, $29.99. So, I mean, a little pricey, but I think if I take really good care of it, it will last me for a long time. Um, so, yeah, and it is glass so I'm praying that I don't break it hopefully whenever I go to store it I can find a good way to store it so that it doesn't break and I can have it for next year okay so the next item you guys if you are an avid Halloween I don't know if you're addicted to Halloween if you are um, in any of the Halloween decor hunting type groups on Facebook or whatever I'm sure you know about this next thing that I'm getting ready to show you. And let me just say that I cried when I found
found it. My daughter cried because I was crying, but she's the one that found this for me. If it wasn't for her, I would never have seen this. And you guys, I'm telling you, I have been looking for this piece for four, at least four years now. And in the area that I live in, we rarely see things that are like the viral kind of Halloween decor that everybody hauls. So whenever I seen this, I about died. So let me tell you the story. <laughs> so my daughter and I went into Home Goods, and as soon as we walked in, I saw the tall statue of the headless horseman. Uh, not the one with him on a horse, but um, it was just the just him standing. Um, I seen that, and I thought, you know what? I like that. I'll go ahead and grab that. I know I'll never find the horseman one, but that one is really cute. So I'll go ahead and get it. So. I went to grab it and I told my daughter, I said, oh, look, they have a headless horseman statue. And she goes, oh, yeah. And I went to grab it from the shelf and she goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm getting this headless horseman statue. And she goes, oh, I thought you meant the one down there. And I go, down where? And she goes, down there on the bottom of the table. I look down and lo and behold, you guys. It was the headless horseman on the horse that I have been looking for for four years. Now, I will say that this was not black when I found it. It was gold. And even though the gold one is very pretty, it's just not what I was wanting. So I did paint this. I did get some spray paint from Walmart and I spray painted it. I gave it like three coats of paint. Um, so... You're, so you'll see whenever I show you the bottom sticker of how much it was um, where it was gold. But, oh my word, I could not believe that I found this. I just love this. Just look at it. Just look at it, you guys. I am so excited that I found this. Now, this one didn't have... I've seen where some people have found theirs at, um, I think, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And they had the... Um, the sticker or the tag was, it said it was Martha Stewart, but this one didn't have anything like that on it. So I don't know if this is a Martha Stewart product or not, but anyway, I about died and there was a couple, a man and a woman standing behind me. And I think that they were expecting to grab this because as soon as I turned around when I was putting this in my cart, they looked like their hopes had just been dashed <laughs> and they turned around and walked off. So I'm pretty sure they were going after this and I happened to get to it first. But if it wasn't for my daughter, I never would have seen it. So anyway, I went ahead and grabbed this. Now this is a pretty good size. I don't know. I know they have two different sizes, a really large one and then sort of a medium size. I think this is the medium sized one. But this one, and you can barely see the sticker, but it was $29.99. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but you can kind of tell where um, it was gold on the bottom. I did not paint the bottom because it didn't really need it. But um, So anyway, I was so excited to find this, and this I think is probably my find of the year. So anyway, okay, so that was everything that I found at Home Goods. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to what I found at Walmart. Okay, so the first two things that I found at Walmart, now they have these pretty much every year and um, I grab some every year they have them. So they are the Halloween wall art. Um, they ha usually have two different sizes that you can get. They have some that are the larger size and then these are uh, like a medium size. So these are $3.24. Um, I think the other ones are like $5.48 or something like that. But, um, so anyway, I got this same one last year and I loved it and I ended up saving the moon from it and putting it on my bedroom wall, but, um, the stickiness is kind of wearing off. So I'll probably have to figure out something else to do with that. But, um, since I liked it so much, I went ahead and grabbed the same one for this year. So it's the one with the moon and the bats flying and it says, beware of things that go bump in the night. So yeah, I have this, um... Last year, if you guys seen my, I think it was my Halloween um, house tour, I had it, um, I had it on that video. So um, on the back, it shows you all the stickers that you get. So there's that. 
And then this one, I don't recall seeing this one last year, which it was probably sold out. But um, this one says Happy Halloween, and it's got the uh, crows on there, or the ravens, which I think is really cool, and I love these. So, um, oh, it's also got, like, um, branchy trees, too. Cool. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting this on my wall or not. I did get these for the purpose of possibly putting these on like a piece of canvas or uh, something like that um, and framing them as pictures to hang in my bedroom. So we'll just see. I may end up putting them on my wall for Halloween. I just don't know. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased from Walmart is this. Ugh, it's really heavy. So it's like this cement ghost I don't even know uh, what this is called I think it is cement but <laughs> it's really really heavy so um this is like an outdoor decor it does have a hole cut out in the back here so that you can put um a light or candle whatever you wanted to do with it um now this was 19 uh $19 and I don't know if you guys can see that 98 cents so this thing is really super heavy but um, I have been waiting for these to come into my Walmart because usually over the last couple of years, they've had something kind of like this uh, for you to buy. And I think it was last year, the year before, I purchased a jack-o'-lantern with a witch hat on it um, that was the same sort of product. So um, whenever I seen, I had seen on Instagram some people posting this on their Instagram saying they got it from their Walmart. And so... I've been waiting for Walmart to finally get these stocked. So anyway, I went ahead and grabbed the ghost. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Walmart is this um, wax warmer. Now, I couldn't wait to get it and put some wax in it. So I did go ahead and open it up and um, start using it. But here is what it looks like. So it's a jack-o'-lantern, which I think this is really cute. Now, they had uh, two other ones that were skulls, I do believe, and I already have a skull one from last year, so um, I just wanted the jack-o'-lantern because I thought he was really, really cute. Okay, so this is the packaging that it came in. So it's the Halloween Fragrance Bar Warmer. It's by Celebrate, and it was $12.42, so um, yeah. So anyway... There is my little jack-o'-lantern wax warmer. Okay, so that was everything that I found at Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to what I found from Dollar Tree. Okay, so the first two things that I found from Dollar Tree are these spiders. Now, they have these every year. Um, they have them in black and in this, um, or in brown. So I did pick up the black ones just because I thought the black ones looked more realistic. But um, so they have this one and it is the larger spider. And these have sort of like a velvet type feel um, texture to them. So I grabbed that one and then this one is two. And they are kind of, um, they're a little bit smaller than the larger one. And you do get two for $1.25. So anyway, I really like these. I love decorating with these. So I went ahead and picked these up. Okay, so this is in no particular order. I am just grabbing at random. So the next things that I have are these uh, pot holder and dish towel or hand towel uh, set here. So I thought these were really, really cute. So this is the pot holder. It says happy haunting. It has, it looks like um, shiplap in the back. And then, of course, it's got the farm truck on there with the jack-o'-lanterns, the ghosts, the bats, all, all the Halloween-y type stuff. So cute. Um, it says, Ghoul's Pumpkin Delivery on the truck, on the door of the truck, which I think is really cute. Um, the back side is just plain black. And then the dish towel says, Happy Haunting, and it matches, and it has the same design on both sides. And as we all know, these dish towels are not good for drying anything. They're mainly just good for decoration. So that is what I use them for. So I did only grab one of those. And then the pot holders, um, same thing, 
Happy Haunting has the same design. And you do get two in here for $1.25, which is a pretty good deal. Um, the back is black. Now, I know these are not the best at holding on to a really hot pot. So if you're going to, maybe double them up and use two of them <laughs> or make it really quick. But anyway, I went ahead and grabbed these. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up are these napkins. I thought these were so cool and I hate to use them. I'll probably, I don't know, I might use them for some sort of a DIY or something like that with them. But you do get 24 in here and they are the 13 by 13 um, inch napkins. But I love that. I love the spider web, the crow that, I don't know, it's probably like a bottle of poison because it's got the skull and crossbone on it. And it does have some writing on it, but I don't really know what it says. I'd have to really look, <laughs> but um, I think this is so cool. So I did go ahead and grab one package of these. Okay, so this really isn't Halloween related, but I still got this because I just love this movie and um, and the book. So anyway, it is the uh, Miss Peregrine's Journal for Peculiar Children. I don't even know if I said her name right, but I just love this. I love how this looks. I like the gold on it. And this is sort of like a matte type. Um, I don't know. It feels really smooth. So um, anyway, I thought this was really cool. And on the inside, when you open it up, it has this journal belongs to where you can write your name. I love that. And then um, it just has like the lined paper where you can write. It's just a journal for you to write down, you know, whatever you wanted to in there, which I love any kind of stationery, so I went ahead and grabbed this. Okay, so the next thing I got is just a simple gold charger. I am going to be doing another um, Halloween DIY using the pool noodles to make candles. I'm going to make them a little bit different, so um, make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I would love to have you. But, um, so yeah, so I needed a charger plate. My daughter is actually wanting a set of the um, pool noodle candles that sort of like what I made last year. And I will try to link that video down in my uh, description box if you guys want to go watch it. So anyway, I needed another charger plate. I think my lighting is getting darker. Sorry guys, it's starting to kind of cloud up. But um, the next things that I got were these table runners, these lace table runners. So um, it doesn't really give a length or how long these are, but I thought these were really pretty. And I think Dollar Tree does carry these every year, but I don't remember seeing them. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention or didn't have a need for them. But um, this year I decided I was going to use some and decorate with them. But I did grab two of these and they are the same. And the pattern on here is sort of like a um, spider web type pattern. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that through the camera or not. But maybe if I show you on my arm <laughs> or up against the wall. So yeah. And, and there's like, it looks like a spider right here, huh? So yeah, I thought these were really nice. So um, I decided to go ahead and grab two of these. Okay, so if you have a pet and you like to dress your pet up for Halloween, then Dollar Tree has some really cute costumes right now. But I've seen these, and these are the Hello Halloween Pet Bat Wings. <laughs> um, I thought these were so cute. Now, I do have a dog. She is a little Shih Tzu. Um, she is 13 years old, going on 14, and bless her heart, it's showing. Her age is showing. But um, anyway, I grabbed these. I don't think I'm going to be putting them on her for Halloween. I might. But I also thought I might do some sort of a DIY with these. Um, now, it does have these little armholes or whatever with elastic on the back that you can, you know, adjust. It does have um, a place right here where you can adjust them to make them bigger or smaller for whatever size dog that you have. Because this does not say... The size of dog that it fits so um, I don't know I would say it would probably fit 
a small to medium sized dog. I don't know if it would fit a really large dog. Um, it looks like the dog that they have on here, though, looks sort of like a pit bull. So it, I don't know, it may, but pit bulls really aren't that big anyway. But it, could you imagine putting this on a Great Dane or something? <laughs> that, that would be so cute. So anyway, I thought these were really cute. So I went ahead and grabbed them. The next things that I picked up are the Skulls. Dollar Tree has these every year. I grabbed three of them. I may end up going back and getting more. I'm not real sure, but I do plan on decorating um, using these. And I know there's all kinds of DIYs that you can do um, using these Skulls. So, and I probably will be having a DIY using one of these Skulls coming up. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, I went ahead and just grabbed three of these. Okay, so the next two things that I found, which Dollar Tree has these every year also, but it is the Creepy Cloth, and um, I grabbed the black ones. I think they have gray and I think a white one, or like a cream colored one, but I just really like the black ones, so I did grab two of those. Okay, so the next thing that I found are these necklaces. You get four in here. And I know that Dollar Tree does carry these every year. So you get uh, two orange necklaces, a purple and a black, and they just look like um, bones and little miniature skulls. So um, I like to use these in DIY. So I do have a couple of DIYs that I plan on using these in. So I needed to go ahead and get me some. Okay, so the next two things that I found, I think these are new this year at Dollar Tree. But it is um, these bandanas. You get two in a pack. Now, they did have a couple other designs to choose from, but I really liked these. So, I thought these were really cool. So, in this first one, you get a bandana that's got like a spider here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and pull these out of here and let you guys see um, what they look like. Maybe... So um, this one comes with a black and orange buffalo check or gingham, whatever you want to call it. So I grabbed that and with it comes this one, which this is the reason why I grabbed this one was because of this particular one. I really, really like this. I love how it has the spider webs on there and then the big spider web in the center. I think this is so cool. I love the, they have bats on there, stars. So, so cute. I just love this. So I did go ahead and grab that. And then in this second one that I picked up, this one, let's see, I'm trying to think of what the other ones, the other ones were like really colorful and I didn't want those. But um, this one, I grabbed it mainly for this uh, bandana. And um, I just really liked this one. It is the traditional black and orange. It's got like that paisley pattern on it, but it also has these skull and crossbone up here in the corners. And then it's also got skulls um, in the center there. And then the other one that came with it is just a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> so I thought this was really cute. So I did go ahead and just grab those two. Okay, so the next two things are, which I don't know if you would consider these Halloween or fall or what, but um, they are these <clears throat> fragranced brooms, uh, the fragrance, you know, like the scented brooms. And this year, I have never seen these in this, these scents at Dollar Tree before, which I don't know if... I've always only saw cinnamon, um, but this year they had pumpkin spice and eucalyptus. So I thought that was really awesome. And let me just say that this eucalyptus one smells so good. I just, I love the way it smells. Oh, it smells so good. Like I had this in my car and my whole car smelled like eucalyptus. It smells so good. And then this one's the pumpkin spice one, which, um, yeah, it, it's not as strong, I don't think, but I do really, really like this. So I did grab one of each of these. 
Okay, so the next thing that I found technically is not Halloween, but it is fall. So um, I found these. These are the foam pumpkins that have the little clip on the back of them. Um, I grabbed one package of these because I just like the color of that. I love that green color. So um, I did go ahead and grab one of these. Now they did have some that had um, the sweater pumpkins, I think, which are really cute, but I didn't grab those. Um, I just wanted these green ones because I think I might be doing some sort of decorating with these. Okay, so the last three things that I found at Dollar Tree are these mushrooms. Um, I have seen everybody hauling these and I have been wanting them and have not been able to find them at my Dollar Trees, but I did happen to luck out at one Dollar Tree. The one Dollar Tree had these, so I did grab one of each package. Um, they only had these three different ones to choose from, so I don't know if there's any other colors or not. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments so that I can keep an eye out for the other, other colors. Um, but you do get three mushrooms in each package. So I think these are sort of like a reddish, almost pink, but it's like a really dark pink or a really light red. So I grabbed one package of those, one package of these. These are the orange, which these are a really light orange color. So I grabbed those and then um, the green ones. So I guess if I didn't like the color, I could paint uh, the tops of them if I wanted to, but um, I kind of like these, so yeah. Anyway, I was really happy to find these. Okay guys, so that is the end of this haul. Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite item? I have to say, I'm sure you guys already know that my favorite is the Headless Horseman statue. I'm so excited that I found that. So yeah, let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite? So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all later.